Recently, I got the Anycubic Cobra Go, and I gotta say, I absolutely love this thing. But I had one issue with it that nearly caused me re to return it, and hopefully, I can help you guys solve that issue as well. So, before I say anything else, this thing is absolutely amazing. I love the auto leveling bed. I had the Anycubic Mega X or not X, Mega S, and that thing didn't have an auto leveling bed and it would take me forever to level the bed, just going back and forth. And for that reason, I didn't really use that printer. But anyways, this one has an auto leveling bed and it works amazingly, it auto levels for you. And then you could adjust the Z axis if you have any issues with it. But one issue I had in particular that caused me to nearly return it was the voltage system. This printer works bo both in Europe and the US. So it has one, 115 and 230 volts. And the ones that are being sold in the US, at least mines came set at 230, um, which didn't cause it to function properly. I plugged it in, when I hit the power button, it only turned on about one out of 10 times. Uh, and when it did turn on, when I went to print something, it just froze. So that caused me quite a bit of agitation because I did put like a, over an hour into setting this up. I didn't want to break it back down and send it back for a new one. So I got in touch with the team. They were trying to help me. Um, they didn't fully help me yet, but I went ahead and found the problem myself. So in the back of the printer, there's a little button that allows you to swap from 115 to 230 volts. Uh, as I said, mine was set at 230. It would be nice for the seller to swap it to 115 if uh, when they're selling it within the US, apparently they don't. But that was the only problem. I flipped the switch. This thing has been working amazingly since then. So if you're having the same problem, just flip the switch from 230 volts to 115 if you're living within the US. Obviously vice versa. If it's set at 115 and you're not living in the US, go ahead and swap it to 230 and it should work out amazingly for you. But once again, for a $200 printer, this thing is fantastic. If you haven't bought one already, I would highly recommend you check it out. But anyways, guys, hope you guys found this video informative. If you did, definitely hit that thumbs up button. If you like this type of content, I'm not sure if I'm going to do too much 3D printing content, but if you have anything in specific uh, in mind, um, or anything specific in mind, then let me know in the comment section below and I might go ahead and do that for you guys. But hope you guys have an amazing day and I will see you guys in my next video.